skinning at different heads. Just another day or two. You have to get up, Kimmy. We have to prepare. Kimmy, you two go stall her while I think of something. No can do, Kimmy. You know we can't be seen by anyone but you.
First-person view for this for a second. Hold on, let me just take a look inside my wardrobe here. I never wear anything other than my pink hat and shirt and pants. Yeah, what kind of, what kind of wardrobe is that? It's like, it's not the same. It's not the same as like everything else. Like, remember Jimmy Neutron the movie, where like all his shit's the same. Yeah, but Timmy, like, I love that. <laughs> it's like cartoon logic. Eh. But you know that's the thing. Don't like, overthink look, it. Look at um, like look at Steve Jobs. There are people who wear change the characters. Maybe a little, yeah, they just do that, but it, like when they changed Libby and Jimmy Neutron. <gasps> oh, yeah. That was kind of a weird, I mean, I get it, but it was kind of like a drastic change. It was like, oh, she changed her hair, but she also just looks different in general. Am I ever, no, is that? <laughs> Tomorrow, Wanda, voice cap. The squirrely scouts have been kidnapped. What? What? And that's not all. Vicky has made another wish. It was too vague to tell what effect it will have, but it's likely to be diabolical. Hey, is that you, Scotty? What happened? It was, it was horrible. They came out of the darkness while we slept. <laughs> it's a creep. They're girl versions of us. Yeah, but not nearly as tough and brave and stuff, huh? So how come they managed to kidnap all the Squirrely Scouts? I better 
better not get spotted. There may be more around. I want to get captured, too. Hide oh, behind stuff and don't run in front of her. And watch her patrol route. Let's go. Kitty, <laughs> look, that happened. There, it's like, no, but it's okay. Hi, they got you, too? I was asleep, Kimmy. Chuck! Kimmy, you can't stay. It sure does flow fast. How am I going to get across? Uh, I wish, I guess. But we need Wanda for that, and she's still mad at me. I'm mad at both of you. How could you go to camp without me? We're sorry, Wanda. <laughs> Luckily, Vicky's wish has allowed us to continue our quest for pages of the rules while we're here. Otherwise, I'd be really mad. You don't want to see that. I've seen it. It's horrible. So, you'll help me wish? Sure, Timmy. We need those pages. And you're not mad at me anymore? That would be a little too much to wish for, Cosmo, dear. Yeah, that's what I thought. We have to cross River Rapids. Well, a lot of ideas come to mind. Mind you, not to my mind. If we can cut some of those trees down, we can make natural bridges. I thought of that, kind of. Kimmy, <laughs> we're waiting. What? Oh, I have to wish. Uh, something to make tree bridges with, please. Wait, I feel all funny. Uh, what am I? I combine two powerful tree cutters into the ultimate tree felling device, a beaver chainsaw. A chain beaver? That's weird.
you like cleaning. You can attach to them. Um, clean stuff. Oh, dear. What life saving thing, guys? Well, it's a long way back. We better get started. And keep your eyes open for wish stars. We're going to need them. standing in front of Timmy's light like that? No wonder you didn't do so well in the other seasons. Alright, so... Oh, that was the boss. Why was that the boss? Okay. Well, at least the good news is... Um, everything in the other floor is done. And we've come closer to regaining our power! We outfitted Dickie by doing exactly what she wanted us to do. Oh, <laughs> yay! Here you are. And talking to yourself again. What is that bath going to be? All done. Time for cake. The spiders are back! The world. They probably don't know what the bandicoot is. Well, enough talking. Let's just crash into the game, shall we? That was a bad pun. Man, I can't believe that Vicky has your wish power. Sorry, hon. Looks like a Yugo Potamian! Those pesky Yugo Potatoes! They hate nice things! I guess we're going to find out just how nice you can be! I got five stars! I can make a wish! Use it wisely, sweetie! Or just have some fun! Well, I need a way to get through these beaten up houses! They are pretty wrecked! I suppose a few more holes wouldn't be a problem! We're power gloves now, Timmy! Use that to break stuff! Just punch away! It's a full five stars! My wand is humming! What are you gonna wish for?
for this time. Surrounded by aliens, outnumbered, a gun. Job for Crash Nebula! If we had enough power, we could conjure the real Crash. But we'll have to make do with Timmy in a spacesuit. Attack to activate the Justice Cannon. Bring soft pillow terror upon your alien foes. Like them? Oh, 
I'll use your tire now. My tire! Excellent! Let's try them out! I want to come over here first. Right. You passed my little playground obstacle course and your spider. Oh, uh, I guess I should have gone the other direction first, huh, guys? Crack stepping for this. I am still gonna suck you into my magnet. Go on, Timmy! Yeah! Teach that anti fairy what it means to mess the kid who has fairy doctor, and even if they want, don't work because of some accident with the rules of an evil baby, you should have summoned by the anti fairy switch. I'm just going. Cosmo, will you please shut up? Oh, that sounds familiar. It's Crocker again. And look at all these doors. He could be behind any one of them. Ah, fairies? No, no, no fairies here. They must be somewhere. Where are the fairies? <laughs> we'll reactivate the crocometer. It should give you some warning if he's close. Do you remember the colors? Of course I do. Green is safe. Orange is beware. Red is run like heck. And purple means answer hazy. Ask again later. Now let's finish charging our wands! We're saying this thing about me breaking the rules. Thinks we're setting the rules right. I want to get away from this corridor as quickly as possible. We also need to open up those locked doors ahead. Oh, the solution's obvious. It is? <laughs> it is? Jimmy, if you would. The wish? Um, I well. wish for whatever Cosmo's thinking of. No! It's not safe in Cosmo's head! Harry Power Jetson! Awesome! I have a foot inside me! Damn. Timmy hey, Turner? But how? A kid like you should have been terrified of my book-based bad luck! I'm not scared of your books or your luck. Prepare to be magnetronoided! Let that anti fairy have it, Timmy! No! Keep it for yourself and use it! Oh! I see. Sorry. The janitor's room. That's funny. I didn't know we had a janitor. Ooh, a phone booth. Let's call Timmy. I guess you should answer that, Timmy. You better look around first. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Babe! <laughs> he just yells, Babe. Let's the tire right. So this is Crocker's secret theory catching layer. And his new super secret fairy detecting and catching van. Wow, you know a lot. Wow, that was one long, weird day at school. Totally, oh, man. Oh, no, it's Crocker. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Whoa. Oh, my beautiful van. That's bad attack. Crocker's fairy catching van caught a fairy after all, but not in the way he expected. Ah, uh, ha, ha. Oh, alrighty. So that's the end of that level. Saving our game. Save successful. Alright, let's head back to Timmy's house. And, yeah, and then we'll end this video. Alrighty. Ah, home sweet home. Did you enjoy your extra day in school, Twerp? Actually, it was a refreshing change. Oh, no. Not this time. Oh. Sir, you're right. Okay, that does it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, a babysitter. They're always fun. That was a great day. Yeah, well, we kept Harry from the secret the entry and collected some pages of the room. 15 wishes and 4 Prince and Jane Still, I guess Sheila's Blunder was the only one with 10 stars? Interesting. Well, let's take a look at this. Some milk, perhaps, to strengthen my bones. Slam all the way. You're well, right? That's one of the rules. 
That's right. So can you tell if Judy really does love me? It's a sickening thought that I'd like to put behind me. Ah, uh, it's possible, Hot and Bod. I doubt it. Kids tend to be in love with their pets and their parents until they grow up. And their godparents, of course. Especially if they're as lovable as me. Well, that's a relief. I guess. Now, back to that milk. If everything's okay, we'll go back to our bowl. Yeah, I was in the middle of some serious swimming. I think there's some parts of the bowl I haven't even seen yet. Twerp. Hi, Vicky. Judy said she scared you good. <laughs> ah, Jimmy Turner's scared of my little sister. It's only natural to be afraid of your family, Vicky. Most people agree that avoiding you is sensible. Oh! Oh! Uh, it's so not true. We're very popular, especially me. You're so irritating. It's my job to make sure you earn your overinflated babysitting money. You annoy me so much. Why can't you be easy to babysit? I wish you were as easy and fun to take care of as my lovely doggy Doido. Oh no, when will I learn? Even if Vicky doesn't know she has magic powers, she's too dangerous to mess with. Woof. Timmy? Where? Oh! Oh, a sweet little puppy! Hello! Woof woof! I'm Judy. What's your name? Woof woof! I'm on my way to the mall, little doggy. Would you like to come with me? Woof woof! I'm gonna call you Timmy, after my soon-to-be boyfriend. You can be my doggy. We'll be together always, I promise. I love you so much. <laughs> Don't run away. Come back! Well, hello there, little fellow. I hear the pet store is looking for fine animals like yourself. Oh my gosh! Is that Tara Strong doing the the whimpering? That 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 sounds so sad. Oh my Take a wish, 
Skinny. We can't make you human because Tootie is in love with your doggy form, but we can do other stuff. Okay, then. I need to be able to see in the dark. There you go, puppy. We've given you doggy night vision. Hey, your eyes glow. It's actually kind of scary. Don't call me puppy. Uh, what are you going to wish for, Fido? Don't call me that either. I'm still Timmy. We need some way to quickly search them all. Uh, I know. I wish I could fly. This is so cute. When you jump and then jump again, your little tail will spin. You can use it to hover for short periods. Timmy? Hey, good shot! 
It's medieval Britain in the time of the great King Arthur. Oh, look, there's a castle over there. Luckily, I speak the only English. Pursuit! Vicky wished history into a mess, then sent me back in time. I guess I should try to fix things. Let's see what she said about King Arthur. With haste, young squire. Hey, nanny, nanny, bunny, lanny, lanny, money, nanny. Uh, Timmy. Good day to thee, bizarre strangers. Oh, would that I could offer more passionate greeting. But whoa, mine is a soul sick with disappointment. I am called Arthur, by the way. How are you called? Usually by shouting. People are always shouting at me from yonder and the like, forsooth. I'm Timmy. Why are you so sad? Oh, a malady afflicts me. Tomorrow's dawn heralds a great event, a sword-drawing competition. For many days have I anticipated this reverie. Yet, alas, I cannot compete, as my jealous sister has contrived to implicate me in her own naughty schemes. Verily, am I grounded. What did he say? He's sad because his sister framed him, and now he's not allowed to take part in this sword-pulling competition. This is Vicky's fault. Her homework says that the sword Excalibur was pulled from the stone by a girl. And because whoever pulled the sword from the stone became Britain's ruler, in Vicky's version we have Queen Morgana, not King Arthur. Um, thy tongue is passing strange, sir. I do not understand thee. Perhaps thine ears be filled with wax. Don't worry, Sir Arthur, sir. You got four more stars. Something looks wrong. Why is that ground a different color? Hey, oh, it's Mr. a powerful remedy against the oldy diseases such as Gray's Nut and Pulsing Toe. Actually, I think it's probably a trap. Try not to step on it. We can't let anyone else see us, Timmy. Why not? I want to show off my superior knowledge of science and philosophy and TV shows. Well, is right, Cosmo. We could change history just by being here. There's no point in fixing Vicky's mistakes if I'm just gonna make more of my own. We should be able to sneak past people if we're skillful. Cross. Don't look. Ah, there's nothing to see anyway. Just mud. What you gonna wish for, Jimmy? I need a way to get over those blockades. The past isn't designed for short people. How about some sort of grapple rope? No, a crossbow. How would that help? Well, it fits the medieval theme here. Oh, I wish you guys would just work it out. What did we make? It's a crossbow. With a grapple plunger. You guys are the best. We like to think so. <laughs> Look for targets. When you see one, aim and shoot. All right. Wow, Excalibur, the sword of the stone. And whoever pulls it out rules all of Britain. Now what? It's tiny and it doesn't even have any moves. You're going to have to pull the sword out, Timmy. But only the true king of England can pull Excalibur out. And the people have to believe that Arthur did it. That's where our magic comes in. Yeah, we got a little more magical oof back in this time. We can fool the sword into thinking that you're Arthur. But you have to help us. Try to pull out the sword, then keep pulling really fast to help us with our magic. Just think you're playing a video game, and you have to press the button real fast. It's like that, but totally different. I'll try once the guard leaves again. Sense.
It probably doesn't matter if we're seen here, but the Egyptians may not be friendly. Uh, can't we talk to someone? I want to try out my new word. Wanda's right, Cosmo. Let's be careful. Oh no, 
You're right. A genius can't be wrong. I agree with you completely. I've been all through time and space, and Vicky is still the dumbest person I've met. Jihan, I'm not sure we've got time to read comic books. I'm not sure I'm able to read comic books. Aw, but I haven't read the latest issue yet. Maybe I could get some ideas from the Crimson Chin. Hmm. Who are you talking to, lame brain? Uh, talking to your dumb comic? Wow, you're lamer than I thought. And Squirrel. I thought you were pretty lame. Squirrel. Hey, I'm a kid. I'm supposed to have imagination. I wish I could spoil your childhood fun. I wish the Crimson Chin became completely useless. And I wish you were trapped in his world so you could see just how pathetic comic books really are. Oh, no. This doesn't look good. Oh, no. Vicky's wish is already coming true. The Crimson Chin is useless in this issue. Not Jay Leno. Of her wish hasn't worked. Maybe I should keep my mouth shut. I don't think Jay Leno actually got fun to look at. Like, that's what I miss about the friendly appearances most is those tile cards because they're so creative and imaginative. Also, we have to press X or does okay, I'm automatically go. So that's what I thought. Where have the chin's powers gone, I wonder? Oh, let's explore! We should probably stick our noses where they don't belong. And maybe find some stars to power up a wish, just in case. Might be a banner sticking our noses where they don't belong. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so let's begin with collecting some. My chin senses indicate trouble. Let's begin by collecting some wish stars. The bank. Maybe we should prepare for a wish hunt. <laughs> Five stars make a wish, and wishes make for heroes. Yeah. News just in: a villain with tremendous strength has raided the first bank of Cincinnati. Tremendous strength. Could this villain have the chin strength? Hmm, I guess it had to go somewhere. There, the villain's escaped to the other panel. We have to chase the villain, Cleft, but we'll need to make a wish first. It's clefting time! <laughs> Here somewhere. Let's search around. 
situation. Mm, my cleft is tingling. That, I sense that sucks. something is wrong. I don't yeah. know about your cleft. Bad new nuts. I'll bet she looks Yeah, I, there's no point. Never. I don't know what's going on. Let's see what's in my utility cleft. Oh, there's your chinarang. What about the chinarang? Good call, Captain Cosmos. Let's do it. Attack to hurl your chinarang. It'll knock evildoers into next week. But not literally. Right to the window. Spatula woman's trail leads from there. Don't forget your catchphrase. Oh, yeah, um, cleft washes whiter than white. Oh, that's some sloppy catchphrase work there, Clef. Well, here we are, in an alley. There's only one way spatula woman could go, Cap. She's not getting any nearer. Let's go. Wonder. <laughs> Do you know? 
superheroing stuff isn't so hard? That's because you've got club powers, Timmy. Otherwise, you shouldn't even attempt these stunts at home or any place else. Let's find more wish stars. There's one more minute to foil. Troublesome within the police station. What's troubling the police station? Maybe I should find enough stars for a wish before I think the day. Villain. Gilded arches. I've seen him in the Crimson Chin comic book. He is evil, but rhythmically gifted. His tremendous speed! It must be the Crimson Chins! We'll need a wish to keep pace with this disco deviant! Evil doers, beware! We need a wish that will help you over the rooftops! And that can deal with those villainous goons! Ever resourceful! I, Clef, the boy Chin Wonder, have just the thing! Sidekick fairies, please activate the Chin Grapple Glove! Sidekick? Why, I ought uh, to... At least he said please! Target grappling areas by looking around and firing! And press action to punch with the force of a thousand chins! Do you have your catchphrase ready? It's chin swinging time! because suddenly this plot isn't For the time being I am gonna say I'm, I'm pretty darn close to getting everything here yeah 32 out of 30 wait the well at least as far as I'm tweeting split each level up but to be honest it was it was really confusing to see what it could have point in doing that in this episode let's dive right on in to the ultimate challenge what challenge the wait says here only one way to find out begin i don't remember there being a door here before it's a door to fairy world we must have found all the pages of the rules yippee that was fun can we do it all again You know, Fairy World is full of... <laughs> it's full of clouds. You'd think they could have afforded to at least, like, get more details in there, but no, they didn't. They can only afford a small cube of it. Weird. We're back in Fairy Court! Who are you? The narrator? The naughty god oh, oh, Can I be the narrator? Cosmo and Wanda have helped Timmy recover all of the pages of the rules. And now everything is great, and we get to have fun and go on sides and eat cake. Time for Timmy to appear!